Hey, how you doing? Kevin Maloney, the Maloney Method. Okay, today we're going to talk about calories and what is a real calorie. It's a good time of the year to talk about it. November 1st, I think, is in two days. This is generally the time where most people put in their mind, okay, I'll relax, I'll put it off until January when everyone else is doing it. That's a cop-out. That is just an excuse to let everything fall apart in November and December. If you're serious, you have an opportunity now to change everything by saying November 1st, I'm taking it on. If you take it on from November 1st and you do a serious program, May 1st of 2021, you are a completely different person. Completely. You will feel different. Your whole life will be different. But it has to start with you realizing what I have done in the past has not worked. And now all I'm doing is creating a situation where I'm making myself feel better by saying I'm going to start in January, okay? And you know what happens in January. In these two months now, you're putting yourself in a deeper hole. To really show a commitment, you start November 1st, and you say, this time, I'm going to make it. Now, this is what can happen in six months, and it can happen without a lot of stress, if you have the information. In six months, you can have a 50 pound swing. A swing is fat loss, muscle gain. It'll show less on the scale, but it's a 50 pound swing. Remember, fat takes up more surface than muscle, okay? The program's relatively simple, but we're gonna get to the information part that makes it different in a little bit. The program's simple, 30 minutes a day of exercise, okay? You gotta do two strength training sessions a week, okay? You can alternate body parts. Couple exercises, you don't need much. Just make sure they're multiple joint exercises. You don't have to work to exhaustion, okay? The key is going to be the blend of exercise with a slight calorie deficient, but knowing the exact value of the calorie, okay? You literally just have to take off maybe 300 calories a day from what you're eating now, okay? You add in six or seven days because the aerobics is so easy, all you're doing is walking, okay? Now, here's the information part of it, okay? That makes this winnable because you can win this one, okay? You have to internalize why you have failed in the past. You gotta stop lying to yourself. The umbrella reason why all those different diets and things didn't last and why you couldn't make it is because they were psychologically too stressful. That's your umbrella, okay? There's no this, none of that, no. They were psychologically too stressful. So you have to have a program that is workable within your psyche, okay? That's why this is relatively easy if you have the key information. Number one, okay, on what is a calorie, is a calorie a calorie? 
You have to understand, and every food you eat, you have to know, is this a low glycemic index or a high glycemic index? Now, very simply put, when it's a low glycemic index, the energy will come out slowly because the insulin comes out slowly. You remain satiated longer. Okay, now let's, let's go over it. That's the key right there. Because burn this in your brain. Hunger always wins. Hunger always wins. So, let's go back, boom, low glycemic, slow release of energy, gradual release of insulin, satiation stays stable, okay? You can get four or five hours out of that. High glycemic index, when you're looking at your labels and starting to study food, okay? You will have a big increase in insulin release, okay? Huge ins increase in insulin. It'll be too much, okay? So it'll turn into fat. But more importantly, when you release that much insulin, okay, your body becomes insensitive to insulin so that no matter what the hell you eat in carbohydrates whether it's low or high because you have become insensitive to insulin it's not going to react bottom line you got type 2 diabetes and the list of problems that are associated with that are too long to mention here just put in your brain Start studying low or high glycemic on your carbohydrates. You're going to emphasize low all the time. There are tons of great foods with low glycemic index. You need to become an expert on them, okay? Google low and you'll see the list. It's off the chart. Second piece of information that'll make this easier is you have to look at a calorie after the process of digestion in other words a calorie here going into your mouth is different than a calorie after you have eaten that calorie okay this is called the thermic effect all right to give you an example how dramatic this is if you have a hundred calories of a crappy food out the other end it's probably still close to a hundred calories okay if you have a hundred calories of almonds at the end of the process of digesting and the metabolic effect at the end of the process it's only 68 calories now think about that that's like 35 percent difference good food much more many more vitamins many more everything boom before they went in they're both a hundred going through the process one is still a hundred one is 35 percent less okay so you have to understand the thermic effect of all foods okay huge factor third thing that you need to know nature okay nature when you eat a hundred calories in the morning it burns more of that 100 calories than if you ate that same 100 calories later in the day under the same circumstances, same food, 
we have been biologically put together to burn more food in the AM. And survival wise, it's because that's when we were hunting or being hunted, okay? So, you have three main things that you need to approach calories different with. You have to become an expert on the glycemic index. You have to learn all the delicious foods that are low. That will carry you through where you can eat every four or five hours and you're feeling satiated, okay? You stay away from the high glycemic. You learn the thermic effect of food. Huge factor. There are many, many foods that literally they're 30 to 35 percent less than when they went in okay you have to biologically try and have most of your calories earlier in the day now within those limits you throw in some small exercise which means that you're building some muscle slowly you're building endurance slowly so your natural metabolic will kick in okay by reducing 300 calories a day starting a strength program and a nice easy walking aerobic program doing that for six months you can have a 50 pound swing now if you want to know how dramatic that's going to be for your life go find a 50 pound dumbbell and pick it up then imagine yourself walking around with less weight on you as that 50 pound dumbbell literally can change your life okay and the reason you need to do it now and not go through the routine of January like everybody does, okay? By making a statement and saying, no, I'm not copping out and saying, okay, I'm going to be a slob for the holidays. You've done that before. You've done that before. Those who don't remember the past, we've all heard this, are condemned to repeat it. You start off doing something different. No, I'm going to start November 1st, and I'm going to do the Maloney Method program. I'm going to become an expert on glycemic indexes and an expert on the thermic effects of food. I'm going to gradually shift where I eat most of my calories earlier in the day. I'm going to have a slight decrease in my calories and I'm going to have a very moderate exercise program where I rotate strength and I rotate aerobics, okay? This is the time for you to become the person that you know is inside you. This is the time to draw the line in the sand and say, no more. This time, I know what I'm doing and this time I'm going to do it. And remember, the reason that the other ways failed, time in and time out, it wasn't weakness. It was psychologically too stressful because a person, our method here is all about sustainability. Everything that you do to accomplish a goal, if you have the proper knowledge, is not that hard. It's not gonna crack you up, okay? So, this is your program. Now is the time, November 1st, and I will guarantee you, January, March, April, May 1st, you are a completely different human being. And just, just go for it because it's your time now. Thank you for joining us.